What's up, guys? Bitcoin is rising up. I think it's getting close to 70K. Old coins are rising up. Art block just hit another all time high. LCX is up. So Bitcoin is at right now 69K, which is last bull cycle's all time high. The uh, fear and greed index right now is neutral, but I imagine it's going to shift towards greed. Again, another example of how quick the crypto market can flip the script and go from bearish to bullish, from bullish to bearish to neutral to what the hell is going on to bull cycles canceled to bear cycles here to what the F is going on. Like, look at this chart. Look at the seven days. It was 63K a week ago. This is over a trillion dollar market cap asset. That's a lot of movement to the upside and downside. You can't just have a few buyers changing the price. This is a lot of buyers, not to mention whales, who are doing this. Um, today on the live stream, we read a few articles uh, on the Bitcoin ETF, the Ethereum ETF. Um, do not let this flip. A lot of you are saying in the comments today on the live stream, I'm going to wait. Hey, John, it's not a good time to buy. I'm not saying you have to buy the old coins I'm buying. Just buy the utility old coins. Like, start doing it now. I'm not here saying, like, the, the big crash is never coming. Some still think the recession, World War III. Listen, those people never get satisfied. They always think the sky is falling until we see Bitcoin or the old coins fly. And they go, wait a minute. What I said didn't happen. I guess I'm wrong. And then they buy higher. A lot of old coins right now are suppressed because the focus and eyes and attention is on Bitcoin. You still have utility old coins like Art Block, sub 500 million market cap. LCX sub 300, PNG 100, GFI like 300, um, even you know large caps like Solana, uh, Ethereum is still a good price, Cardano, Caspa, Caspa is a great one. Like you still have many old coins that are down in price. While people are shifting and selling their old coin backs to buy Bitcoin, if you utilize your watch list, you can find some good deals right now. It doesn't matter on trying to be perfect. If you're like looking at the last bear market and you're like, I missed the bottoms. You're not wrong. You did. But it doesn't mean you missed out on gains. You can still make a lot of money at this point. A lot of people are still waiting until this real bull market takes place, which they're more referring to Q4 this year when we see the reps take place. A lot of people think we're not going to see another true bear market that's going to be just a correction. I'm not saying they're wrong either. A lot can happen after this bull cycle. You know, the thing with uh, Bitcoin and the ETFs and institutions and smart money is that they're in this cycle. They were not in the last cycle. We had whales, but this is the first time where we have an exchange trade fund for Bitcoin. Now we have one for Ethereum. We have banks in the market. We got a lot of big players in the market that we never saw last cycle. So a lot that's happening now is different. This really is a different bull cycle. It doesn't mean this is the last one. This is the biggest one. It just means, you know, with this uncertainty looming over us, it pays to make moves now. I'm not saying you have to dump the banking. I think that's actually unwise. At the very least, if you're cashing up and right now you're all cash and you're just like, I'm just going to wait. I think that's a loser's game plan. I think... If you're not at least somewhat in the market now, you should start making moves. It doesn't mean you have to buy Bitcoin. Now, Bitcoin can still give you a 2x from here. Bitcoin is still very bullish, but I'm talking to the altcoin investors, the ones who want to leave their jobs, become financially free, supplement their income, whether you're you know a, a job you like, you, you want to stay doing it, or maybe you want to help out your kids with the tuition, college. Maybe you want to buy that car you always dreamed about. You want to start a side hustle, cut back at your job retire earlier if especially if you're older in age this is the time to be proactive you can't just be you know sleeping and like okay i'll come back in a couple months a lot can happen you know this summer we could see our red summer we could see a green summer bitcoin could be 80k 90k 100k by the time the summer even rolls around or it could be 50k who knows no one knows i don't care what ta guy you follow i don't care what you're hearing out there the point of the matter is this, the ones who make money in this market are the ones who are proactive, the ones who put their blinders on and they buy suppressed emerging marketplace utility altcoins. You can still make money with Bitcoin, of course. Even Bitcoin itself will outperform the entire stock market, especially the S&P 500, which gives you about 10% returns per year. So in about 10 years, you're getting a 2x on Bitcoin. In the last two years alone, you got a 4x or a 5x on Bitcoin which is a crazy 
gain, a massive gain, and that is just Bitcoin. Not to mention Ethereum, your large caps, even cryptos like Artblock, which gave me, what, a 65x from first century? Listen, guys, a lot of people right now are making a mistake. I'm too late for this one. I'm too late for this one. To answer the question, zoom out. If a utility altcoin is sub 1 billion market cap right now, you're early. People kept saying the same thing about Solana last cycle. They're like, oh, it went from a dollar to $30. I'm too late. There's the gains are already made, 30x, whatever. And then it kept ripping it to $260. And that was just Solana. Cardano, same thing. It was in a pennies. Let's pull up uh, Cardano. Cardano was in a pennies last cycle. And then it went to $3.10. Imagine if you bought Cardano on a penny last cycle. You sold it at like 50 cents. Okay, 2 cents. You sold it, let's just say here. You sold it at $1.30. Made a crazy gain. And then you missed out on a you know, $3 all-time high. Okay, these are examples. Literally legit examples of how you're still super early. Like Solana, great example. Let's pull up the last cycle for it. So last cycle at the beginning of January, it was around $3. Imagine if you sold it right here in August of that year. Okay, we're yet to be in August of this year. It was $74. So $3 to $74. That's what, a 20, 25x? An amazing gain. People are saying, oh, I'm too late. But look, it went from $74 to $260. Okay. I can give you guys example after example after example. This is why I, I stress that you can't just listen to what I say or someone else says. None of us have crystal balls. I just have a cup of coffee with more coffee than I deserve, than I probably should have. But again, I get the same concern question over and over. John, I missed a bull in our block. Well, if you think you missed it at four, five dollars and it hits a hundred dollars this cycle, or hell, even fifty to eighty dollars over a 10, 20 X, are you gonna say that's bad? Of course not. You're gonna be like, wow, I just 10, 20, 30 X my money. Let me laugh to the bank now. Versus the person who said, Oh, I missed it. I'm just gonna leave. Like someone recently said he sold this art block at three dollars, probably hates that decision now. The inpatient always get wrecked and the patient get rewarded. Again. When you see flat price action, try to refrain from, from what the majority do. Let me question, let me ask every YouTuber if they're bullish so I can decide on their opinion if I want to get in DCA or sell my bag. If you just took some time to research, develop your own conviction on your own foundation of research, and you saw flat price action, and you made a move to buy, that's how you become a big bag holder of a crypto that leads to massive profits. You ever wonder how these top 100 rich lists on CoinCarp, how they even get there in the first place? They buy a lot of coins or tokens at a certain price point before the masses do for one, but they keep buying it. They keep buying it and DCAing. They don't wait for me or another YouTuber or an influencer or Michael Saylor to say, hey, just buy the crypto, even Bitcoin. I hit a limit order on it in 2022 for 15,500. It went to 15,460. I'll never forget it. When I was sleeping at three in the morning, it hit. I only put 1K in, but I was so happy it hit. And leading up to that point, everybody kept saying 10K Bitcoin's coming, 8K Bitcoin's coming, $2,000 with a bottom, guys. And they had, Oakland Daily had some quote unquote master TA guy on his channel saying, yeah, I've never been wrong. 90% chance it's going to like 6K. Never hit. Never hit. They do this every cycle. So right now, if you're watching somebody and he's like, hey, you're too late. Just wait 10 minutes and then buy your crypto. I'm here telling you, don't listen to what they say. Hell, don't even listen to what I say. I'm just telling you to make a move. I'm not even telling you to buy the crypto I'm buying. You can buy whatever crypto you like, whatever crypto you are into. If you buy it cheap enough, if you believe in it, if you have conviction, if you have some funds, if you have some time, if you have some patience, you will be rewarded regardless of the asset you're holding. If it's a good asset, obviously. I'm not saying go all into a mean coin or all into a speculative coin. Even the Bitcoin maxis know how important it is to have self-conviction in your place. That's why Bitcoin typically outperforms the market because the holders there have a different mindset versus other asset classes. And this is something I've been learning along the way when it comes to holding crypto. 
Okay, I was here last cycle. I didn't take profits, but I understood what was happening emotionally. You know what was being said out there in the in the world and the headlines and the stupid home alone faces and the million dollar Bitcoin in thirty days. I've seen some stupid stuff, some real stupid stuff. You'd be surprised. And we are not yet at that stage yet. We will be. You're gonna see those stupid headlines of. The whole alone faces. Bull cycle is going to be 50 years long. Bitcoin's going to $700,000 minimum. Ethereum's going to flip Bitcoin, become $400,000. I'm not joking. I'm not joking. And that's why I put out a tweet recently on Casper. And this is coming from somebody who holds over a million Casper. A lot of the community right now is turning into like these moon boys. Not everybody, but it's coming from the influencers. They're like, hey, Casper's going to $10 to $40. Just wait, guys, and they're feeding this hopium to investors who, if they follow that logic, they're going to be bank holders. And yes, I know about smart contracts. Yes, I know about Rust. Yes, I know about the potential tier one listings that will eventually take place. From experience, at the same Bitcoin full short, Dogecoin full short, Cardano full short, Solana full short, I know for a fact, and XRP too, that's a notorious one, I know for a fact the ones who are listening to these people, and I'm not perfect, I'm just saying. This is why I'm very conservative. I'd rather you guys say, hey, John, you're a little too conservative versus, hey, John, you really think a thousand art block is going to happen? Like, no, okay? This is why it's important, first of all, to take everything you hear to green assault, especially price predictions, but have an exit plan in place and make sure you get out before the masses do. My best advice to you, be proactive, be persistent, be thorough, have self-conviction, have emotional strength, be patient, be consistent, if I haven't mentioned that already, and have a plan in place to take massive profits when they happen, okay? Do not be one of these back holders next cycle saying, I remember the time, dot, 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 I wish, dot, 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 here I am again, sigh. Be different. And by the way, if you want to reach out to me, Talk to me. Serve crypto on buying, sell, and trade. And next, be a part of private live streams and Q&As. I do them every single week, twice a week, where you can talk to me, ask me questions, be a part of a like-minded support group, which, by the way, another member just hit seven figures. Him and his wife. I am so happy for them. I shared on Twitter. And another person who is only 21 years old just hit 50K. A lot of our members are freaking crushing it, crushing it. And I'm so happy for them. If you want to be part of this support group of like-minded investors, which is very important during this time, I encourage you to join Patreon and Discord. I'll leave a link in the pinned comments down below. It would be awesome to see you there. But anyways, now I want to hear from you. What do you think Bitcoin's real all-time high will be before old coin season takes place? Drop your comment down below and let me know. If you enjoyed this video, please give a like. It really helps so much. That being said, I hope you have a great day and I'll see you in this one.